Hey everybody, Montucky Bill here. Gonna do a little walkthrough of this, uh, my gal's dingo kit. Uh, she bought a kit and she built it herself. Uh, I just popped in and reminded her to use the Loctite and follow directions and, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, so she's gonna let me use her dingo, uh, for an experiment, uh, suspension experiment, because that seems to be where I'm at these days. So here's a look at it. Uh, it's a dingo. She uh, picked out the paint scheme, and I painted it. Um, I was debating on this uh, honcho bumper or not. I don't know. It kind of looks cool. Um, of course, so so does the um, the dingo bumper. Have to do a little trimming on it. Uh, to make it work, um, but we'll see. We will see. I did do a little trimming on the body. Um, took about a quarter inch off here and a quarter inch off the fender wells, so when it turns and it's uh, compressed that I got the, some room there to maneuver. I uh, did that, uh, but yeah, I had to, uh, basically I just bucked the flares uh, out probably another quarter inch on the inside. Uh, kind of stretches them out a little bit. Grabbed a heat gun, heated up the ABS plastic there and kind of made it so it didn't have a little bend here. Just kind of tried to get them straight. So, looks pretty cool. Uh, not too shabby. So let's uh, have a look on the inside here. Let's see, show you what I've been working on. Uh, it's got a uh, T35 motor. Uh, Tekin, uh, Tekin, uh, FXR ESC, 2S LiPo, um, I ended up taking the, uh, the little spacer mounts for your, uh, battery tray and, uh, whittling those down so the battery didn't stick up so high, so now it's not, everything's pretty well compact. Um, you know, I kind of, I tried to talk her into doing a, uh, chassis mounted servo, um, but haven't convinced her quite yet of that uh, yeah there's it's kind of a few loose things in there but not too bad pretty naked all in all uh, can't complain about it so I've been working on the suspension um, and here you can see the suspension it's a uh, I it's elliptical like a, a half elliptical it's about uh, I think the, the first step from eyelet to the end of the, the mounting bracket here uh, is about uh, five and a quarter inches uh, or five inches, I can't remember. I think the quarter inch is what got gobbled up when I made the eyelet to mount it. I uh, went with a heavy weight um, oil in the front. I used a uh, 10W50 full synthetic motor oil seems to work pretty good for now. I'm just kind of experimenting with that stuff. Really smooth action. Can't complain. I got six leafs on this front uh, set of uh, springs. And then uh, go back to the rear here. I have uh, five sets of springs that I threw together. Uh, let's see if I can get you a good view there. Uh, and in the back here, I used a pre-pneumatic uh, tool oil, oil. That's what you'd put in your, your nail guns and such. It's a little stiffer in the rear. Um, I didn't allow for quite as much. Um, the ride height is a, about a quarter inch lower than the front. So the back definitely sags a little bit. <clears throat> I tend to like this because it, uh, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more stable, it seems, for me. Uh, most of my rigs, uh, the red one and the white one, um, both have a lower center of gravity in the rear than they do the front. Um, and it just kind of worked out that way. I didn't really plan for it, but that's the way it went. So, uh, yeah, I used uh, just pneumatic uh, oil that you'd use for an air gun uh, in the rear shocks and trying the full synthetic 10W50 in the front. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, we'll see if it leaks. We'll just check it out, see what happens. Um, but yeah, this is my experiment. Uh, the gal let me use her rig to do so. Pretty stoked about it. Um, so I'm going to 
drop a link uh, where I went to get some information on how to build these leaf springs. Um, I was I got the idea because I was uh, getting ready to build a uh, trailer. I wanted to build a trailer and I wanted to use the leaf springs to do so. Uh, and then I started playing around with them and uh, I said, well, let's build a pack and uh, try this cool suspension uh, that I've seen uh, via um, RC, no, no, it's a 4x4 Pirate, Pirate, something like that. I'll drop some links of, uh, of where I went to get this information to, uh, to give me the, the right tools to do so, or at least to have a better idea what I'm getting into. Um, I used uh, the leaf springs are made of a recoil spring from a lawnmower, went down to a, a small engine repair, and they were just throwing this stuff away, so uh, I scored. Uh, they gave it to me for free, and free is a great price. So that's kind of a, like a quick look at uh, what to expect. Uh, I'll probably take it out today, I'm thinking. Uh, you know, I'll put the body on, and um, I will uh, put the bumpers on. I'm not going to do a skid plate quite yet. I'm just kind of trying to think that through a little bit because of these mounting brackets. Um, like there's two screws I could probably do a little T or, or something, but I usually do a pretty beefy um, rail there, so we'll see. Um, but that's kind of my plans for today, so I thought I'd definitely get this out there for you guys to see, and then uh, maybe t tonight or tomorrow morning I'll have a little bit of running video for you. So, Alright, thanks for subscribing out there to all those subscribers. And uh, thanks for watching.